Uh, we have a chance to uh, show you guys a little something about what a lot of people, as a matter of fact, a majority of people need to do here in the next couple of weeks. We're talking about the fact that it is flu season and uh, very important for folks to get their flu shots, Jackie. Absolutely. So uh, MediCap Pharmacy has an important message for you this morning. <laughs> Don't let the flu bug you. Come to MediCap Pharmacy and get your flu shot. We can help you pick the best vaccine for you. Walk-ins welcome for ages six and up. A flu shot with us feeds those in need right in your own community. You plus a flu shot at MediCap equals 12 meals to your local food bank. Do good for you and your community. Get a flu shot at MediCap Pharmacy today. For participating locations, visit iowafluShots.com. Yeah, very important to do that. Absolutely. You can get your flu shot right now, and it's so easy just to make a pit stop over at Medicap Pharmacy. So many locations around the Des Moines area to take advantage of. And look who's here, Jackie. Yeah, Sherry Schmidt. So thank you so much for joining <laughs> yeah, us this good morning. To see you. And we all know it's good to get our flu shot, yes. or at least most of us do. But explain it in Latham's terms. Why is it so important that now is the time to be thinking about it? So um, flu typically circulates in Iowa. Um, usually not before December. Um, a lot of times we have outbreaks in February, March, January. Those are common months to get the flu. So in order, it takes about two weeks for the flu vaccine to build up and become completely effective. Okay. So getting a flu shot in the month of October, so really starting kind of now through October, is the best time to get a flu shot to protect you throughout the whole flu season. Okay, right? so now when you get a flu shot, uh, okay. this is some of the questions people are going to say, how long does that last? How long am I going to have my, my antibodies built up? That's a really good question, and it's probably a different answer for every person. Probably depends on how well your immune system works. Um, some people get a flu shot. Um, you do need one every year. We do know that it doesn't last um, for that long. And also the flu virus is kind of tricky. It mutates and it changes over time. So the composition of the flu vaccine changes from year to year. Mm -hmm. So you definitely need one every year. Um, but for some people, they're going to get a flu shot and um, maybe uh, their immune system doesn't work as well. They don't build as good of immunity. It may only last for three to four months. Other people might get six months out of it. So it's why it's important that everyone gets a flu shot because we do get some herd immunity. So those people who don't get as good of a response from the flu vaccine, if the people around them are vaccinated, that also helps protect that person oh, from really? getting the flu. So and we've talked about before in the program, there are some individuals that can't get the flu vaccine for various Correct. reasons. Maybe they're dealing with cancer or something like that. So it's important for us to make sure we're vaccinated around them to keep them safe as well. Right, exactly. So uh, vaccinating people around people, um, especially those if they have elderly people or someone that's got a lot of chronic diseases where their immune system just isn't going to build good immunity, it's really important to everyone get a flu vaccine for that person. There you go. And let's, uh, we do this every year, but let's yeah. dispel the biggest rumor that is out there. I don't even have to say what you it is. You can say what it is. You cannot get the flu from the flu vaccine. So many people cannot. still believe that. They say, oh, I got yes. a shot and I don't feel good. Yes. No, is there any connection? Of, uh, not feeling good and getting a shot? You can not feel good. So you can have some kind of mild illness. So maybe a little bit of achiness, maybe even a little mild fever, a little swelling or soreness at the injection site, um, even feeling a little tired. Those are common things, but it's not the flu. Mm -hmm. So if you actually do get the flu um, after you've had a flu shot, it was coincidental. It was going to happen. You were exposed anyway. Okay. So All right. Before we get to the deed at hand, which we are going <laughs> to yeah. be live on air this morning on CWI Will Live. Uh, why Medicap Pharmacy? Uh, because everybody's talking about this. You're seeing the signs in the yards and commercials. Why is it important to go check out you guys? So a couple of different reasons. Um, we are convenient. You can walk in and do it anytime that we're open. Um, we have lots of locations. Our, our pharmacists are very knowledgeable. There's different types of flu vaccines. So you may want to talk to the pharmacist about which type is best for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but a thing that I think is really cool that we do and the best reason to come get it is we've actually partnered with the Food Bank of Iowa to donate meals for every flu shot that we give starting um, now through November 17th. Okay. So, you know, a lot of pl places do some kind of reward. Um, and we thought, you know, rather than giving someone a few dollars, we wanted to do something meaningful that impacts our communities and helps do something really good because kind of taking the herd immunity um, mm. to the next level. Right. So right. doing something to help protect those around us. So I love that. Yeah. And, you know, we're, we're big parts of our community and we've had a lot of communities um, that we serve 
serve that maybe they've had tornadoes or floods or droughts. Um, chronic medical conditions sometimes go with food insecurity and it just seems really um, heartbreaking to me that here in Iowa where we grow food for the world we have people that are food insecure. So this is a really great, what great way you can come to Medicap Pharmacy, get a flu shot and we'll donate 12 meals to the local food bank in your community. Love so it. if you're in Altoona, it's right it goes to Altoona. Yep. Yep. Um, if you're in Audubon or Dallas Center or you know Eldora, one of our outlying communities, it stays in those areas. Love so. hearing that. And 12 yeah. meals, that's really going to make a meals. difference. Yeah. Okay, simply by getting a flu shot. So let's yeah. get, let's get let's to get it, it ma'am. Yeah. While we have we're doing this, I'm going to take paperwork for filling take, out. I'm going to yep. take off my my, my left. Uh, Okay. My I was gonna say, on my left side, but I want you to explain me as we're doing this. Do you the care sure. which side we're doing? Nope. Either today? way, the I'll difference between a, uh, a cold kind and the flu. Thing. And the flu, we're not talking about stomach problems. We're talking about the flu, right? Right. Okay. With, with the flu, so we're talking about. Um, this is actually. A, so I'm going to go over to Jackie first. Okay. Aw, thanks. Ladies first. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's I'll actually a serious out, okay. illness where. Um, it actually causes respiratory um, illness. So, you know, you can have a really high fever, cough, but with the flu, I mean, when you get it, um, you know that you have gotten it. It's like it hits you like a truck, you can say at two o'clock. Is it in your lungs more? Is it really deep in your lungs or what, it, what, what's it more it's like? It's more of a respiratory easy? virus and it actually can um, even lead to done yet? secondary infections like pneumonia you or affect the look heart. Look at the neat band -aid. Look at that, a little Medicap Band-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> like that didn't feel a thing. I can't look at needles when they're happening, but the thing that was don't really cool is when when you gave Jackie the shot, it looked the like needle the, the needle disappeared. disappeared. Yeah, uh, Jackie, watch this when they oh, zoom in on this. I want you guys to see this because this is pretty cool. I hadn't seen that before. Is this something new, or have you had this for a while? We've had this for a while, but it's called a vanish point syringe. Excuse the, the guns. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I well, didn't know okay. I was going to the okay. gun okay. show. I'm okay. gonna get you just a little bit higher. <laughs> okay. So it's called a vanish point needle. Um, and it's used to help prevent healthcare providers from getting needle sticks. So basically, after we give it, we kind of push, and it's like a ballpoint pen, and it retracts the okay, needle. Watch. This is kind of cool. I'm going to watch on the oh, monitor. Oh, that's for your Kay. protection. Okay. Yeah. Watch that. Now, there it goes. Now, watch it close. Move your hand down a little bit. Boom. It disappeared. Isn't that cool? That is cool. That is awesome. Just like that. It was very cool. Done. And then you put the Band-Aid on so there, or Band-Aid, I should say. Yep. Get the yeah. Medicap Pharmacy on there. forget okay. how quick. That's, That's fast. And, and how much of a yeah. difference you're making, not only for your own body to hopefully have a healthier uh, winter season, but And then boom, you guys get to sign your name. Meals. Just we like that. And, we'll put a little pen And for, for costs for flu shots. Let's get that out of the so way. So costs for flu shots covered by most insurance companies. So if you have insurance, most of the time it's covered um, at zero copay. Um, if it's not covered, it's usually $40. Um, at most of the Medicaps, there is flu mist available this year. It's there been is. off for a little while. And there is also a high dose um, that's available for people over 65. Okay. I do want to say that not just because you're over 65, it doesn't mean that you need that one. So what people do need to know about the high dose is that it's only got three strains of virus in it. Mm -hmm. So it's a concentrated form of three strains, a okay. trivalent. Whereas what I just gave you was a four strain. So okay. it protects against four different kinds. So talk to your pharmacist. As you say, it's why it's important to go in and talk to your yep. pharmacist and know that you can give back in a big way by simply doing what we did here live on the Get program. Get a shot. Just yeah. take any time. Yeah, exactly. IowaFluShots.com for more details. You're watching CWI. We're live here on Channel 23. We'll be right back.